Hi, I'm Torben Janssen from thoughtsonjava.org with a new Hibernate tip. This time I will show you how you can count all queries Hibernate executed within a session. That is something you should always check when you implement a new use case or change an existing one. It allows you to find n plus one select issues before they cause problems on a bigger production database. The easiest way to count all executed queries is to activate Hibernate statistics component. Hibernate then collects a lot of internal statistics and provides them as a log message and via the statistics API. I will show you both options in this video, but in most cases, it's good enough to let Hibernate write a log message at the end of the session. That's easier and provides you with the most important information when you are analyzing performance issues. Hibernate statistics component is deactivated by default. You can activate it by setting the hibernate.generate statistics parameter to true. You can either do this by providing a system property with the same name or by setting the parameter in the persistence.xml file. But be careful, collecting all this information takes some time, so please do not use this in production. Okay, let's jump into the IDE and have a look which information Hibernate can provide us. In this example, I activate the statistics in the persistence.xml file. You can see it here. Hibernate will now collect a lot of information about each session and write a log message with the most important metrics when it closes the session. I prepared this simple test case to show you the log output. As you can see, it's quite simple. It just fetches a list of author entities from the database and writes a log message for each of them with the first and last name and the number of books she has written. When you see this code for the first time, you probably expect that Hibernate performs only one query to get all author entities. But that's not the case, as you will see in the statistics. Here you can see Hibernate's log message with the most important session metrics. You can find the number of SQA statements and the time spent for their preparation and execution here. As you can see, Hibernate executed 12 queries to get all the required information. One query to fetch 11 author entities and 11 additional queries to get the books each of them has written. That is a typical example of a n plus one select issue. It's the most common Hibernate-related performance problem. If you want to learn more about it, I have a free video course in which I show you how to find and fix these issues. I add a link to it to the video description. Okay, before I end this video, let's have a quick look at Hibernate's statistics API. You already know this part from the previous example. I use the same query and log messages as before. Then I unwrap Hibernate session factory from JPA's entity manager factory and call the getStatistics method. That returns the statistics interface which provides you access to detailed information about the current session. You can, for example, use it to get the number of executed queries and the number of fetched collections. As you can see in the log output, the statistics API provides more details than Hibernate's log message. The log message just told you that Hibernate executed 12 statements within this session. When you use the statistics API, you can see that one of these statements was a query and that the other 11 statements were performed to fetch collections from the database. In this example, Hibernate had to initialize the book association for each author. Okay, that's it for today. 
If you want to learn more about Hibernate, you should join the free Thoughts on Java library. It gives you free access to a lot of member-only content, like an ebook about Java 8 support in Hibernate, lots of cheat sheets, and a video course. I'll add the link to it to the video description below. See you next week for a new Hibernate tip, and if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below.